because we couldn't have a Caribathon vlog if we weren't eating a mango. And I'm peeling this with the knife because I'm gonna give some to my daughter. But if it was me, I'd put this to my mouth and peel it with my teeth. I'll show you how Jamaicans really eat mango. <laughs> Mangoes are not indigenous to the Caribbean, but boy, in Jamaica, we act like we invented mango ourselves. I mean, there's a song in Jamaica. You guys can see my face. There's a song in Jamaica that goes, we no drink coffee tea, mango time. Care how nice it may be, mango time. At the heart of the mango crop, when the fruit them are ripe and drop, wash your pot, turn them down, mango time. We no drink coffee tea, mango time. It's around, you just keep singing. Because listen, in Jamaica, during mango season, which is now, um, people don't eat regular meals not everybody of course and i don't mean all the time but like they eat mangoes as opposed to eating other foods so people will just wash like a what i call a pudding pan a pudding pan of mango like a big bowl a big metal bowl and like we're talking like a dozen mangoes and you just eat that you just eat that like I remember as a, as a child and my grandparents, my grandparents had a lot of mango trees and like lots of different varieties of mangoes. Um, and they have a mango that they call common mango because it's not a specific variety. It's just the one that's most common. I mean, that's what common mango means, right? That's what common means. And yeah, um, there'll be a lot of mangoes. And those mangoes, even though they're common, they're sweet and you leave them on the tree to ripe until they develop like those little speckles on the skin and um you just wash those and you eat them they have a one that called green skin mango they have a mango called robin mango i mean these these are what we get they're called marathon these are mexico mexican mangoes um in jamaica we call this julie mango um it's not quite the same because the jamaican julie mango is a lot sweeter but you know this will do but boy Jamaica, mango time. We no drink coffee tea, mango time. Care how nice it may be, mango time. At the height of the mango crop, when the fruit them are ripe and drop, wash your pot, turn them down, mango time. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, content. That's the content for this morning, guys. We no drink coffee tea, mango time. Care how nice it may be, mango time. At the height of the mango crop, when the fruit them are ripe and drop, wash your pot, turn them down, mango time. I got my notification that this was delivered, so I just had to come outside and hold it. Ah, it's forced ripe, Cindy McKenzie. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Let's see, it is 300 pages. <sighs> yes, we're gonna be reading this later. It's a Grenadian novel. I started reading it on the previous vlog, so I didn't get very far reading the Kindle version. So now I'm gonna be diving in and here's a moth came to say hi. Hi, hi. That's mine and this is hers. Ah, you gonna eat? gonna feed yourself we usually leave home for walks with two kinds of puree she likes this yogurt one and I'm also trying to give her this one because it has some of the fruits and vegetables that she won't eat normally like beets <laughs> and it also has some flax I'm trying to find some plantains that would be ripe enough that we could cook for dinner this evening For dinner this evening, I'm thinking that it is Caribbean. I'm gonna make some Jamaican food. I'm gonna make some jerk chicken, a rice and peas, a plantain. And so we're gonna start with some rice and peas. And it's not really peas because I'm gonna be using black beans. But I do have my grace Jamaican coconut milk. So we're gonna work with it. 
Oh, we need rice, right? <laughs> rice, coconut milk, and beans. Yeah, now we can start. So this is the point where it's bubbling like this, where I turn it off and just let it simmer. Seasoning up my chicken. This is a chicken it's not quite jerk chicken it's jerk inspired chicken but it's gonna taste good so it really doesn't matter what style it is like <laughs> and the rice and peas i'm not sure about that it's thursday morning actually it's 12 o'clock so it's thursday afternoon which means it is day nine of caribathon and so far, I've finished two books. How the one-armed sister sweeps her house wrecked me. Um, there is heavy stuff from the prologue. I mean, it's interesting from right there, but it's not easy to read um, in terms of the subject matter, the emotional content. But I loved it. <laughs> I loved every bit of it. I was there for everything that was happening in that story. But man, I tell you, it was tough to read, especially as a mom. So, moving on to book three today, at least to try to finish book three, I'm gonna try to finish Forced Ride by Sea. So, I was filming, and I'm not sure if I was filming, but now I'm on the street, so I have to put my mask on. Um, yeah, so I finished two books for Caribathon, and hoping to finish book three as well today. And I don't know, unless I can read five books tomorrow, I'm not gonna make my TBR. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Good job of bringing me here. Yeah. You want to go feed the birds? Mommy, did we bring food to feed the birds? Am I going to have to give them some of my food? I don't know if we can share. <laughs> good job. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Good job feeding the birds. <laughs> good job, Bokin. Very good. Good job.
All right, we're gonna play a little Bob Marley. Mama's busy helper doing dishes. Hi friends, it is Friday. It is the last day of Caribbean. Today is Friday, June 18th. Tomorrow is Juneteenth, the big Juneteenth celebration, which is why Caribbean ends today. Didn't want to interfere with Juneteenth and all of that. So today is the last day of Caribbean. I have a lot of regrets in terms of what I wasn't able to do in terms of Caribbean planning and execution. But I'm just so happy, so overwhelmed by all the people who participated. Peta at Comfy Cozy Up has been doing a fantastic job with keeping up with her vlogs. Check out her channel if you haven't already. And oh, sorry about the reflection on my glasses. We're just heading out for shenanigans. <laughs> We're heading to the store to pick up a couple of items just for the little one. Um, we're gonna do some laundry we're going to do some other things and aside from all of that hoping to get some reading done hoping to finish a couple of books so far I finished two books I finished the last war in a woman by Kai Miller and I finished how the one armed sister sweeps her house by Sherry Jones and those were both fantastic I have two books three books in the in progress I'm hoping to finish a couple of them today so when little one takes her nap I'm just gonna read I'm gonna do some it's not even reading sprints I'm just gonna try to read from the time she falls asleep to the time she gets up and we'll see what else happens um, also I don't really have to cook dinner today because my husband said he's gonna be bringing home something special looking forward to that um, also looking forward to not having to cook <laughs> I know terrible terrible wife um, but yeah so that's where we are with Caribbean. this vlog may just be a lot of me sitting down and reading so stay tuned for that and because I know this is scintillating content here's what I'm bringing with me on our trip we still have these veggie chips that we were eating yesterday um, I have a couple of them in the bag so I'm just gonna like, keep that so I guess this is a what's in my bag segment a couple of prunes that the child has been eating since this morning um, they are still here because she hasn't finished them disinfecting wipes baby wipes because I don't have a diaper bag no that's not true I have lots of diaper bags I'm just not carrying one so I have a spare outfit and a diaper and so there's some cream um, somewhere in the bottom of my bag and that's the pamper sensitive wipes that we're using right now so just in case we need an outfit change it's a short trip and usually she doesn't need to go while we're out um, the book that I'm reading right now my wallet my mask random toys random toys sunglasses for the child yeah that's what's in my bag I'm a mom <laughs> And that's my grocery bag down there. It's insulated, it's kind of a insulated cooler kind of bag. And my water and some apple juice for the kid if she wants something. She has her water bottle with her right now. Yeah, I know, I told you. Stay tuned, man, for scintillating content. That's what's on the vlog today. <laughs> It's five o'clock somewhere. I'm reading this really interesting story. It's called The Two Grandmothers, and it's in a short story collection from Olive Senior. Look, there's my family. Hello, family. So it's Friday afternoon, and I'm almost finished with this. I have a story left to read, um, I think 
one or maybe two stories but I'm almost done there's a story in here that really resonated with me and it is um, called my two grandmothers or the two grandmothers and it's a, a girl who's telling her mother in letter form about the experiences that she has when she goes to see or visit her maternal grandmother and her paternal grandmother and how very different they are and what they say about each other like one is very religious and she tries to keep the daughter she's trying to tell the daughter how to be very demure and very um, conservative and the other one is saying don't even call me grandmother don't let anybody know that I'm old enough to have a granddaughter your age um, and how she paints her face and then the little girl is talking about how the other grandmother talks about women who paint their face and it's just it reminded me so much of my grandmother's when I was growing up you know one grandmother was very religious she was seven Adventist and she didn't wear any kind of jewelry or makeup or anything like that so far really liking this book so my husband promised that we would have something special for dinner and it turns out it is Afghan food Afghanistan I have never had food from Afghanistan so I'm excited I'm excited to see what it is and not just to see but to taste so yeah it's still Caribbean but we're gonna be eating the world <laughs> salad wow yes okay more bread okay that I think this is the like biryani rice I think this is how it comes I thought it came in a, on, the, on the stick yeah they take it off the stick and serve it this is okay. um, street food, okay. but if you're here it has been wonderful Caribbean has been wonderful I read some fantastic books I finished almost four books I'm gonna finish the fourth book before the day is over so I'm gonna say I read four books for Caribbean I'll update you guys on Instagram but thank you so much for watching this video I hope you had fun I hope you had as much fun watching as I had making these videos I'm not gonna go back to check on the child because we are planning a little garden and she thinks that she's the farmer so she's been tending her crops uh, we just got some book mail it's not a caribbean book but it is a bible story graphic novel that i'm really excited to get i'm going to be featuring this one sometime soon so for now thank you so much for watching have a great day have a great afternoon have a great rest of caribbean heritage month and thank you so much for watching this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already more videos like this coming to you soon and until next time until we come back for another video happy reading bye